All right, we've got some more stormy weather in the forecast this week. We're really starting to see the storms moving out of our area now, and so it is going to be quieter as we head through the morning and even into this afternoon. While we can't rule out a few storms later today, it's going to be much quieter, obviously, than what we had overnight. But we've got more storms later in the week. Rain chances are going to continue to remain pretty high, and that will help to keep temperatures from getting too terribly hot, but it will still remain very muggy. And then we are watching a couple of areas is out into the Atlantic uh, where we'll likely see some development. This area here is becoming a little bit better organized almost into the central Atlantic. We'll likely see a depression or maybe even a tropical storm form pretty soon, maybe as early as later today or into tonight. It is moving off to the west at about 15 to 20 miles an hour, uh, and forecast models continue to take it off to the west uh, through the central Atlantic and then over the islands and some curve it north. Some actually take it into the Caribbean toward the end of the week, so that'll be something that we'll keep a close eye on. And then this is less organized, not a huge chance over the next five days for some development, but something else that will We'll continue to watch too. And as we look down the road, this is this weekend into early next week. So uh, again, about a week from now, you can see on uh, June 25th, we're kind of watching these two areas. This is the one that's further off to the east. Uh, and then this forecast model actually brings that uh, area of low pressure that will likely become a, a depression or a storm today into the Caribbean. And then perhaps from there, it looks like it weakens, but the moisture associated with it may move into the Gulf of Mexico. And again, that's 10 days away. So just something down the road that we're watching as far as the tropics are concerned. We still have plenty of rain in the area, Bibb, Chilton and Shelby County. A decent little shower there now moving out of Anniston. Severe thunderstorm warning on going to our south with that line of storms, but that's moving out. Boy, a tremendous amount of lightning, and we had some of that overnight with those storms. All of that moves away, though, and you can see through the remainder of the day today, not a lot of development. We may get a storm or two later on this afternoon, especially in some of those uh, east and southeastern counties. But overall, we're just not looking for a lot of rain, uh, no widespread rain for today. Rain chances do come back up, though, about a 50% chance Tuesday. Wednesday is the official start of summer, the summer solstice. And so for Wednesday and Thursday, scattered storms likely will start to see those thinning out, though, by the weekend, and therefore temperatures get hotter. Break. All right, Seth.